Hello. In this session, we will look at how we can declare a local variable and also we'll look at an example uh, as to how we can make use of this uh, uh, local value within your configuration files. Now, at any point, if you want to set your uh, local values within the configuration file, we make use of this locals block. So over here, if you see, this is how we can declare your locals that are from locals within your configuration file. So we make use of the keyword locals and then within the body, we define the variable name. So let's say this is the variable name and the variable value or the expression that you want to use. So here in this case, I'm using service underscore name equals to this is my static value. Likewise, owner equals to and then Terraform, which is my static value. So we can think of this as your local value. So like this, you can declare multiple locals uh, block within the configuration file. Now, the expressions in the local values are not limited to literal constants. So uh, like it, it is not limited to static values. They can also reference other values in the module on order to transform or combine them, including variables, resource attributes or other local values. So in this example, if you say I've declared two locals block. Now in the first locals block, this is my local value. And then I'm using an expression that is I'm doing a concatenation. I'm merging uh, the instance ID of example one instance and the instance ID of example two instance. So like this also we can uh, create a local value and we can also call the other local value in this case, as you can see, so local dot service name and then local dot owner, meaning there will be another locals uh, block where the value for this local value is assigned. And then we are calling that value within this locals block. We can either have literal constants. We can also refer the values from other uh, variables and we can create a new local value for that. So how do you use this local value? So once your local value is declared, you can reference the local value by using this expression local dot the local name that we have given. So let's say here, these are my locals that I have declared. So here, this is one locals block and here I have another locals block. Now in this locals block name project underscore name owner are my locals um, uh, name and these are the respective values. Now here is another locals block where I have created a common tag, right? And again, I have few names. Now for the value, if you see, I am referencing this locals value. So what, how, how are we referring it? We're using local dot the name, whatever name we have. Likewise, local dot owner, and then local dot name all right now here so that's how we can call your local value wherever you want in the configuration file and here also if you see i'm calling this piece of local value so local dot common underscore tax so all the key pairs that i have here in this locals block will be considered as my tags when i'm creating this resource right so locals value are created by a locals block but you can reference them as attributes on an object named local so here if you see when you are declaring the locals block you are using the locals with the plural so we are using yes whenever we are declaring the locals block however whenever you are calling we make use of your singular which is just local dot the local name so we have to basically leave off the S whenever we are referencing the local value. So a local value can only be accessed in expressions within the module where it was declared. All right. So this acts as your local variable. We won't be able to use this anywhere outside this configuration file. We can use it only within this configuration file. Let's see an example for this. So here, I'm going to define my provider block 
and let's say we'll create this in us east one region and then let's say we'll define our locals block and then you can start defining whatever you want so let's say um name equals to locals sample and then let's say project is equals to locals project just some uh, dummy variables that i'm setting over here and then let's say owner equals to locals right then we'll define one more locals block and this will be for my common tags okay and then we will start referencing this so let's say name equals to local dot name so here if you can see uh, we are removing we are using this without s so to refer the values we'll have to use local without the s okay and then let's say project is equal to local dot project and then let's say owner is equal to local dot owner so i'm referencing the local value over here and then we'll define our resource block so let's say aws instance and let's say this is locals example and then my instance type would be t2.micro and my ami let me get it from my console so this is my ami and then we'll use the tags right so for the tags we will be calling this local dot common tags okay that is what we are referring we'll take this code so here i'll create my main.tf file and this is the code so let's save this let's initialize this uh, not sure not allowed here Okay, so I'm missing a uh, equals to over here. Okay. Let's initialize the code. And we will apply this. So there form apply. Let's approve this. Let's give it a few seconds. Now this will create the resources for us and whatever the tags we have set using this common tags, this will be applied to the EC2 instance. Okay, so like this. Um, now what we have done here is I can create multiple resources and for each of the resource, I can reference the same common tag. So another use case we can give a, so let's say you're creating an infra for a, a specific component of your application now you 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 want to set a common tag for all those resources for example it's a it's an you know, xyz component now you want to set the common variables for all those resources then we can declare this tags once and then we can apply the same tags for all the resources multiple times. So this is created. Now let's go to the console. Sure. Now in my console, if I refresh this, you will see this one. It is set. So here under tags, we should be able to see. So whatever the tags I have set, the local tags, you can see name, local dot name. So here you can see name, the value, which is here likewise project owner so whatever i have set in the common tags it is applied to this instance so that's basically what your locals are uh, this can be really useful uh, when you know when you want to 
uh, declare once and use many times within your configuration files and remember this is local to the module where you are declaring so i can use this only within this file i won't be able to use it outside this file that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video